Hello, I wanted to speak today on climate change, the emergency or the direness of the situation, the criticality of the situation, and what we do with our money, specifically when we want to or need to purchase a vehicle. What do we do? Many say that it is best not to purchase a new vehicle because of the carbon footprint that that new vehicle creates or has created, you put the demand for that new vehicle, you will basically validate that carbon footprint that that vehicle has created during its manufacture. Even though it has already been created, you purchase it, you want to create a demand for another vehicle to take its place in the market. And the other option is to not purchase a vehicle, to walk, to bike, to take public transportation if available, to use mass transit if available, to carpool if available. And the third option is to buy a used vehicle. A used vehicle is supposed to be a lot more friendly to the environment as far as its carbon footprint. And it is much smaller carbon footprint that it has created has been diminished over the years and it is magnitudes smaller than a new vehicle. The fourth option is to buy an electric vehicle. Yes, electric vehicles do use the fossil fuel industry for its manufacture and it uses quite a bit of carbon for its manufacture, specifically its battery. Some say they use even more carbon or emit more carbon than its counterparts, the IC or internal combustion vehicles. So to purchase a new EV does create again a large carbon footprint. Even though that is going to be offset by its use, by its diminished use of fossil fuel over the years that you use that vehicle, you will not put the demand on the fossil fuel industry for gasoline or diesel or motor oil, etc. And that's what I want to focus this discussion on. Do you want to buy an electric vehicle or do you want to not buy an electric vehicle if you have a need for a vehicle or the vehicle would make your life a lot more convenient and productive? Let's say you have come to that conclusion that yes, you do need a vehicle. What would be better for the environment? What would be better for my wallet, for my economy, and for the benefit of most people? of your community out there to buy a used gas vehicle, which is a lot cheaper, or buy a brand new electric vehicle. I understand there is a third option, attempt to buy a used electric vehicle. However, right now, those options are very limited. There are relatively very few EVs on the market because EVs are so recent, so new. So let's just go with those two options. Cheaper ICE vehicle used or a brand new electric vehicle. You gotta see what your priorities are. First and foremost, how are your finances? Is a brand new electric vehicle gonna put a strain on your finances, on yourself, on your way of life? Electric vehicles are not by any means cheap. In most cases, they're, they're not even affordable. So is that going to put a very strenuous hardship on you? If the answer to that question is yes, then you may not want to buy a brand new electric vehicle. If, let's say you have the money, does it make sense to spend the money for an electric vehicle while still considering the environment, the carbon footprint pollution that it has produced? And I would think yes, it does make sense, and I think it would be logical to go ahead and purchase an electric vehicle because you're doing various things. You're doing a few things there all at once. You are taking away your support from the fossil fuel industry, which is a very major and significant step toward decarbonization. Nothing or very few things do more to decarbonize, to phase out fossil fuel, everything, than you not purchasing their product. So if you were to buy a ICE, you're going to continue to buy gas every time you stop for gas, every time you run out of gas. You're going to provide your support to your friendly gas and oil giants, to your friendly extraction company to your friendly fossil fuel company and it is imperative that we stop supporting these companies for the sake of the planet for the sake of minimizing the pollution minimizing the emission of fossil fuel emissions pollutants to the air to water in the ground etc 
right now EVs are like I said extremely expensive we are just now slightly emerging slightly starting to emerge not completely or not by any means fast enough we are starting to emerge from a deep and severe inflation period that lasted for about two years now we're not completely out of it I don't believe we are anywhere near out of it but we are like I said beginning to crawl away out of it detangle from it to emerge from it to swim up to the surface from it and however EV and for that any vehicle prices are just insanely high still it is like when prices go up they want to stay up manufacturers and dealerships want to keep prices up as much as they can possibly keep them up and that is only natural for our capitalistic economic system that sees profits as the only thing that could maintain a company afloat that sees not only profit but continuous growth as about the only indicator that a company will remain liable will remain alive will remain afloat will remain in business that is quite disturbing and not true